Hi everyone, I'm Eric. I'm Jess. And welcome to Tasting with Thompson, where today we are trying some, uh, oh, gifts. From a friend uh, that loves us so much. So, Lori uh, sent these to us, um, and I believe she had them in Mexico. Uh, she said that she was going to send us some chapelines. That's probably not how you pronounce it, but I never took Spanish. I decided I wasn't going to look into that, and then they got here, and uh, she sent us grasshoppers. Chapulines. Probably. Um, so, we were given these wonderful little uh, snacking grasshopper kind of things. Unfortunately, the labels have a big sticker over them that covers most of it. I know, I wanted to get a shot of this for you guys. Of, I'm, I'm sure the artwork is cute. It looks like there's like cartoon grasshoppers on here. And I'm With sure a little this... chef's hat. Right, and it looks so cute, but they put a goddamn sticker over it and it's just gonna rip if I try to take it off, so. So we have three different varieties. Uh, this one is seasoned and the ingredients on it are grasshoppers, lemon salt, garlic, and chili. Okay. So do we wanna start with that one? Or, you know what? Let's, let's introduce them, let's introduce them first. Let's read through each one first. Uh, the second one we have, uh, grasshoppers, extra lemon, salt, garlic, and chili. And that one. It says marinated, which, um, it's just, yeah, it's lemon, salt, garlic, and chili. So. Oh. But this one, it looks like it has, like, a bunch, a lot more powdery, uh, spice on it. So I think this is probably the spiciest one. Um, Codex would like some too, but uh, he's not going to get any because he is a dog. And he would probably eat this unseasoned uh, without any sort of... Uh, Cooking. Yeah. Uh, where do we want to start? Um, I don't know. Um, should we just do left, left to right? All right. Let's do it. All right. So this one, um, which one was this one again? This one is the seasoned. seasoned. So this is seasoned. Let's just, let, let me see if I can get one with a lot of coating on it. I don't know that it matters. Oh, okay, okay, I'll go with this one. Okay, this one seems lucky. Okay, this one's still got a leg attached. This is pretty awesome. All right, cheers. Hmm. If you're not thinking about what you're eating, it's not too bad. There's a whole lot of lemon. It's got... I don't think it has any flavor for itself. Mm -hmm. Um... There's a lot of lemon, salt, and garlic. The texture, to me, it, it's kind of like very stale popcorn. Yeah, I could see that. Similarly to popcorn, you occasionally get those little like shell pieces. Yeah, it's like it's like mo mostly shell pieces. So the texture's weird, but like, I don't hate it. Like I wouldn't go out of my way to get them. No, no, no. I think that yeah. Um. And I probably wouldn't look at them while I eat them. Uh, but if I was in a pinch, sure. Yeah, if, it, if, this, well, if this was the apocalypse, and <laughs> I, I would probably eat these before some other things. Yeah. Uh, Alright. Number two. Number two is the um, salt and lemon. Choose this one. Alright, let's just... Well, you, you sir. Broken. Okay, we got we got one leg on this one. All right, cheers. Pretty sour. It's a lot of lemon. Mm-hmm. It's a lot more lemon, but same texture. A little, little bit of spice, a little bit of the kick. Yeah. Once again, I don't mind it. Um, it's fine. Yeah. Uh. The texture is still kind of weird. Yeah, it's like it's like you know, just eating very stale popcorn. I, I I feel like if I ate a bunch of these, I would have a lot stuck in my teeth, and I really oh my god, am not excited. <laughs> You're probably right. Um, last one. Last one. So these are probably going to be the spiciest ones because this Ooh. has a lot of uh, stuff on it. Let me find like make sure I get a whole one. How about this one. Okay, cheers. It is a lot of spice. Mm-hmm. Mm. You got a big crunch in that one. 
like most of it d doesn't bother me, but why was there a bigger crunch in that one? <laughs> Maybe that one was pregnant. He just ate its baby. Hmm. Pretty sure that's not how they work. Pretty sure that's not how they work. Um. Yeah, it's it's a little difference in in taste. A little spicier, a little less on the acid. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's I'm a little bit of, weird. I'm kind of neutral about. I'm just the texture is just unpleasant. Yeah. Um. Like I mean, it's 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 food. Um, it's protein. I, I I feel like there could be like this could be prepared in a much more palatable way. Um. Obviously, this is just for the shock value. <laughs> I don't think so. You don't think so? No, I think uh, Lori had mentioned like having it for like a crunch on things like tacos or something like that. I could adding see texture okay. To things. I, I I could see how that would work, but let's let's face it. Most people who purchase these are going to be after it and be like, oh, oh you're eating bugs. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Um. But, I mean, I see how, like, culinarily you could use them as, like, people who use water chestnuts. Where it's just, they don't really have a flavor of their own, they just take on whatever flavor you put on them, and then they add a satisfying kind of crunch. It's not a very satisfying crunch, though, because there's just something, like, really stale about the crunch, and maybe it's just this preparation uh, that's, that's making it like, like this, but it just, it's, not, it's like, it's kind of a chewy, it's not really a... That's fair. It's not a satisfying crunch. It's a lot crunchier than, like, refried beans and rice, though. Well, yes. So if you were going to put that on your taco, I guess it would give you a crunch. But, like, I think my comparison to stale popcorn is pretty apt in this situation because... Fair. It's just... It's, it's, got, it's got crunch, but it's just, like, it's, it's got enough chew to it where it's, like, it's not crunchy enough to be satisfying, but it's not chewy enough, you know, if you, if you mm -hmm. like chewy. So it's okay. in this weird middle place. So what's your rating? Three, maybe? Like, down, like at, down the middle, I'm so indifferent to these. Like, I wouldn't go out of my way to ever eat these again, because do I really have a reason to, other than, like, you want to watch me eat some bugs? Yeah, I, I'll agree with the three. It's, I, I don't find them to be something that I hate, uh, but I don't find them to be something that I like either, which, mm -hmm. you know... In general, for things, is something that I have a problem with if you don't have an opinion of it any other, like, one way or the other. But considering these are bugs, <laughs> these are, we're eating grasshoppers, and I am indifferent. They were well-seasoned. I'll give them, I'll give them that. They were well-seasoned, and mm -hmm. if the seasoning was on fresh popcorn, I would really like this. <laughs> That's true. The seasonings were really good. Uh, I just, I just don't think I like the texture. Yeah, the texture is just weird. Like, I don't care if so. they're bugs or not, you know, what, whatever, whatever. So yeah, there we go. There we go. If you if you want to order you some bugs, I believe Lori got these off of Amazon. So we don't uh, really recommend them, but like we don't hate them. So if you want to give it a try, if this is an experience you want to have for yourself, go ahead. They're not as bad as you think. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if you're interested in seeing us try something else, you can leave a comment. Uh, you can like or subscribe so you can see more of these videos. And ring the notification bell so you get notified whenever we upload a new video every Tuesday and Thursday. Thank you again, Lori, for sending these in uh, in for us to try. Um, it was fun. Yeah, I, I had a good time. So until next time, try something new and taste responsibly. Bye, everybody. Bye.